If you're like most people, you probably can't, which is unfortunate because good glute activation is really important if you have to lift heavy stuff up. or if you have low back pain. I could use a little bit of help. I seem to have done something to my back. Or maybe you just want to look good in a bathing suit. Now I know you're asking, how can I practice activating my glutes? Well, it's really easy. Step one, put on some dance music. Start by squeezing them together at the same time. Once you have that down, you can do them individually. The best part of this exercise is that you can practice it anywhere, even in your car. All right, do my glutes. At your desk. Once you have that down, let's take it to stabilization. This is where you use your glute muscle to stabilize your hip. I personally like the stability ball hip abduction because it's really hard to mess up. But you could do the single leg bow and arrow or the single leg hip out instead if you wanted. Regardless of the exercise you choose, the point is you want to keep your hip stable. Otherwise, this could happen. Oh no, you didn't. It kind of hurts my hip. <sighs> Looks like you should have been doing your glute exercises. <sighs> Once you get comfortable with your stability exercises, then we can step it up a notch with rotational exercises, doing my personal favorite exercise, the clam opener. When you do this exercise, it's really important that you keep your hips over top like this as you lift up your knee and not letting your hips flay back like this when you do the exercise. Because when you flay back like this, what that does is it takes all the tension off of your glute, which means you're not activating it, which is the whole purpose of the exercise. Now, if you find this too easy, then you can make it harder by adding a weight and just resting that on your hip, or you can put an elastic band around your knees. I know what you're thinking. I finally feel my glutes firing. What do I do now? Well, it's simple. You add rotation or stabilization with thigh extension. <sighs> but what does that look like? It means that when doing a glute bridge, a tabletop, a hip thruster, or even a squat, you do it with a mini band around your knees. And by putting the mini band around your knees, what that does is it forces you to keep your knees apart or spread your knees apart, which really gets your glutes to activate. So you're doing the exercises, your glutes will activate even more and you'll feel even more of a burn. If you want to try stabilization and thigh extension at the same time, then I highly recommend the split squat or specifically the loaded split squat where you're keeping the dumbbells resting on your shoulders. By keeping the dumbbells on your shoulders, what that does is it forces you to keep your chest nice and tall, your shoulder blades down and back, and it helps you go more straight down. And when you go more straight down, then it'll be easier for you to push off your heel as you come up. And when you push off your heel as you come up, that's going to make it even easier or more likely that you'll activate your glute. And an activated glute is a happy glute. So how many repetitions should you do? You should start in the 10 to 15 rep range until you get comfortable doing the exercise properly. Because actually doing the exercise properly is way more important than the number of repetitions that you do. But once you're comfortable doing 10 or 15 and you get to 15 and you feel like you can do more repetitions, then I definitely recommend increasing the weight. And if you feel like your form is always perfect, you have a little bit of resistance and you can do 15 repetitions, then you can go down to do less repetitions, four, six, eight, it doesn't really matter as long as you're taking your muscle to failure and you're using correct form the whole time. And that is how you make your glutes dance. Now, if you enjoyed this video, found it entertaining or useful, please like our page or subscribe to our channel because we deliver content just like it every week. If you know someone who needs a little bit of help making their glutes dance, please share this video with them. Otherwise, this has been Jonathan from Fitness for Freedom. Take care and we'll talk to you next time.